Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard and I have an 8x10 or a 9x, yeah, no, I think that's an 8x10 canvas and I like this and I did it for a class demonstration and I'd like to do it again. So I'm going to put that someplace you can't see it, but I can. I've already started with the 12x12 canvas and I'm using my OXO omelet turning spatula and I did spread, I'd used my bottles I've got wind today, by the way, so if it gets loud, please forgive me, and a hair. Anyway, so I did my edges with my finger before I started. I've got a couple of basting brushes because those are the tools I used. I'm thinking this might be really quick if I'm lucky. I just want to leave a nice small layer of black around the outside edge, which I may enhance with another ring. Yes, because of the wind, there is stuff everywhere. But case sera, sera, it is the way it is. It's my best chance to work. I put all my paint out this morning, and then I just had too many chores, and so it's late in the day. But I've wanted to do this forever. And I'm just going to go right around until I get a circle. Somewhere like that. Now you could make a chalk outline to start with. Put a bowl down, something. I don't really think that um, being even is the absolute answer because it was a very organic... I can show you that again in a second. Wow! Okay. <laughs> Hopefully that's the only thing that tries to blow through the painting. It's definitely a very windy day. That could go away. And that does not look like a really bad circle to me. I'm going to knock off the paint off my spatula and then wipe it off also. Wow! <laughs> okay. My paint rag is not wet, so I'm going to wet it because I just got here a few minutes ago. I'm going to make sure my OXO omelet turning spatula, available on my Amazon link, list one. Hello, show more, the first blue link under the video. There's two sizes. I'd like to get them both. I'd like to have half a dozen of these when I'm, whenever I'm ready. So my next line of demarcation, I'm going to use my... Deco Art Americana 24 karat gold. You just add that right in there. Probably more than I need, but I could also pull it in. And why don't I do that with a Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatula? Just pull it in a little ways. Because I can. Hey, that's the first. That's the name of my first book, Volume 1, Because I Can. Fluid, fluid acrylic art and uh, abstract art, something, something like that anyway. Um, I'm going to leave that there because I'll be able to use that in a minute. And I don't want this silicone mat to blow up into my painting. And what did I do next? I gave myself a ring of white. And I pulled that hair out. Wow, okay. My hair is tied back for a reason. <laughs> Probably came from somewhere across the yard. <laughs> and I think because this is a larger piece, I'm going to go ahead and give myself an extra couple layers of stripes. I kind of wanted the center to be white again. And then I thought I wanted it to be gold, and then white, and I'm right back to deciding that it's going to be white, but I want to uh, make more, like I said. All right, <laughs> I'm going to have to clear my tip, so give me a second. I do expect this to be pretty quick. I'm going to have to shake that up because it's a different bottle. And 
I'm not sure, but I really don't think that I want any uh, anything to fill the center quite yet. So I'm just going to go ahead and poke some of that in there. Do I want more black? No. <laughs> I want more white. I'm not completely filling that up because I have a s sneaking suspicion that there's plenty of paint here that I can pull. So I'm just going to go if, go for it. I'm going to wipe my black bristles off. I'm going to start kind of evenly. I'm actually going to use the wrong end of this and let that fill in that white canvasy area right there so I don't have to think about it. It's bound to be some some things that bleed from one side to the other. I might just want to wipe that off in between right now. I could do that right on my Lolify Lolify mat and that way I could use the paint at some future point. I find a little bit of pressure down near the butt of the basting brush. It doesn't hurt anything. I'm just going to keep wiping that off. I got a little bit more canvas showing that I wanted there. I think I'm going to do the same thing with a skewer right through there. And I could do that later, too. I'm really hoping nothing else decides to blow in my painting. Before I do that twice in there, which is what I'm really inclined to do, I'm going to go all the way around and split the difference. At the very least, not adding paint to the... whoops. Not adding paint to the center right now. If I am very quick, I can pick most of that right up with my skewer. so it doesn't look quite so obnoxious. It's not a super hot day here and we're about to get some really cold weather so it's kind of nice that the uh, that it won't be drying the paint too quickly. I keep forgetting to wipe off my basting brush. Makes me kind of want to put black around the inside and go back in again. But I think what I want to do is grab my chopstick if I can find it or something. I'm not finding my chopstick. Kind of want to round out my circle a little bit. It's probably not important. So, I'm going to fill in. If it's organic, that's fine. The more uneven it is, the better it winds up looking, actually. And if I want to go back over, I'll do it after I put whatever I put in the center, which I'm still thinking is going to be white, but could wind up being black or gold. Do I dare? That's a really big tip. Oh, I kind of want to use the, no, don't do it. I was going to try and use the, um, the enamel. Oh, that's Floetrol. How do I get that out of there? All right, I'm not going to worry about it. What I'm going to do, since that looks so off, is just continuously run my skewer, the dull end, the blunt end, around in a circle, add a little more paint.
just going to be one of those days. So that's not horrible, but it's not perfect yet either. It's kind of bugging me. It's highly unusual too. But I'm pretty sure it happens to everybody. So I definitely like the white center without the little black in there. So I'm going to give myself some white. Give it a little bit of a shake. Try and make it come back to center so it'll spread out evenly. Use the straw. I have four minutes left. And I still want to do what I was doing. And I'm not going to mind those little marks. They're kind of kind of cool. And I'm thinking I'm going to continue on out just a little. I love what happened here with the outside edges. I'm getting all kinds of little cells from pulling that paint. And now I'm going to look at it and find out if I missed a spot, and it looks like I did. See if I missed any other spots. I can always touch that up later. Not sure about what to do about that, except for I can put a little black. Actually, I'm just going to put a little black right on one bristle. See if I can fake it a little bit. Do I want to do anything else to that? I'm not sure. Kind of want to make that those extra spots that are strange go away. And I can just turn my basting brush sideways and add a couple extra rays here and there to break things up or even them out or whatever you want to describe that as. Some places I have more white than others, and some places it's okay. But I like it making it more uneven, if that makes any sense. It's more even when it's uneven. That does not make any sense, no. But I like the little black keyholes. even though I'm somewhat destroying them. And I probably could go around the side, but I think what I'm going to do instead is take the paint I've got on there and just sort of tap in there so it makes the whole ring look a little bit marbled. And then, of course, I changed my mind. And I can go a little further out there if I want to. And I kind of want to. And that's kind of neat. I like it. I'm good with that. Where's my straw? I'm going to do that. Miracle of miracles, so far nothing has blown in there, and I'm going to torch really quick and tell you guys that uh, I torched to release the bubbles in the paint, caught from adding pouring medium and shaking my bottles up. And if we're lucky, the heat from the torch will activate the pouring medium in the paint, and it will release some cells like you're seeing happening around here. 
and may happen out a little further if I'm lucky. Create some really pretty little patterns. And if I see something that I don't care for, that's drawing my eye, quick before I torch too much, I'm going to try and pull it out. But overall, I'm not unhappy with that. Even though I have a couple places that are much less than perfect, I'm going to move that right back in. Get rid of it entirely. Pull it out. So it's not a perfect thing, but it is a cool thing. And I know that I could keep right on pulling. Whoa! Should not have done that. <laughs> All right, I could tell you guys I do sell my artwork. I give classes at the house in Spring Hill. Under the video, you're going to find my paint pouring recipe, Twitter, Instagram, and, and Pinterest links. If you're interested in a Facebook group, Facebook has Expression to Start Studio Gallery Appreciation Group for students, Expression to Start Studio Gallery Fans and Collectors for fans and collectors, Expression to Start Studio Totes and More if you're interested in seeing what I've been doing uh, and posting for sale on Fine Art America or just, just cruising by to see what I've been doing. Um, Yep, a little worried about that wind. And I gotta stop playing with the paint. It's not a good idea to play with it at this point. I love you guys. There's 85,000 of you. Um, subscribed, and I really appreciate you guys when you watch the videos longer. That's my, my shot at maybe being able to be allowed to stay at YouTube a bit longer because the only thing the algorithm knows to keep me here is that you watch longer. And uh, it's not really happening very much lately. So thank you to everybody who is watching longer. I really appreciate that. I'd like your thumbs up very, very much, and if you'd like to get a chance to win one of eight paintings this month, I have uh, on the end screens, this month's video is, a recent, is an exhibition of recent artworks, and it shows the eight paintings, two books, and if you're in Florida and you enter to win, $10 minimum, there is a class that you can win, which is pretty cool. I want white dots around the inside of that. Isn't that funny? Kind of worked out really well because it was already a little tacky which means it's not gonna hurt anything and I like the added texture of it so whatever I forgot to tell you guys is probably that I have clothing under the video and it has all over print leggings and all over print t-shirts and lots of other stuff the uh, fine art america and pixels.com has a lot of stuff nothing all over print I, uh, I should tell you guys there's 10 playlists of 100, well actually 9 of 100 and 1 of 50, and other playlists of genres. Yep, the Coast Guard is flying over. I love you guys. Thank you guys for the wonderful comments you leave me all the time to keep my morale boosted. Um, I do sell my artwork, I mentioned that. If I didn't, I should, because that's going to be the only way that the studio stays active on YouTube. Um, so if you're inclined, let me know. And if there's ever a time you have a question, please ask. And if you want to see something, have a print made, just mention it. And my email address is right under the video. Get in, I'll get right back in contact with you. And um, if your notifications are turned off, you can turn them back on. And if you leave me a comment, I think it keeps notifications going longer. Or brings them back again. It worked for my husband. So I love you guys. I'll see you soon. Bye for now. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery in the backyard. Out! Saying I'll see you and on. Bye.